Hey, what's going on everybody? John here at the Wiki Game Guides and I wanted to make a video showing off the character customization within Assassin's Creed Unity because it, because it is quite, um, it's changed a lot in this game and I, for a lot of good reasons and in a lot of good ways. So let's take a look at uh, why this is such a big part of this, um, why customization is such a big part of Unity this time around. So first off, we're looking at the skills. Uh, to upgrade your skills, you need to unlock uh, sync points, which are points, you can see I have one right now on the, on, on the top uh, four currencies, I only have one sync point. And these are skills like uh, cherry bombs and uh, extra health and uh, special assassin takedowns and stuff like that. Um, a lot of them are uh, locked until you complete specific sequences within the game. Uh, some of them are just very basic things like being able to use guns uh, or use um, things like uh, the money pouch to gather a crowd around you so you can disappear quickly. Uh, and upgrades for the Phantom Blade. And as you can see, they are actually quite expensive. Uh, like the Phantom Blade right here, eight sync points. Sync points are very hard to come by. You get them by completing major story missions, like single player uh, story missions, like completing sequences and stuff. And they are not easy to come by. Um, there are a couple co-op skills that you can unlock. This one right here, uh, share Eagle Vision with allied players. And there's another one later on for um, uh, sharing health potions that you use. Now you also have this new lockpick skill and there's a new uh, lockpicking kind of mini game. And there's a lot of chests hidden throughout the game that are just, that, that require this tier three master locksmith skill to, to unlock. And you just, you, there's just no way you're gonna be able to unlock some of them without this highest highest level master locks, locksmith skill. Um, and finally the health skills, they're pretty straightforward just, or this is the most basic of the four skill trees. Uh, just each additional level gives you more health. Now let's take a look at the gear loadout. For weapons, uh, there are five different weapon categories. One-handed is my has been my favorite so far. Um, there are a bunch of different weapons you can just buy right off the bat. And you can see uh, there's two different ways to buy different weapons. You can buy them with F, which is just the basic money or francs that you that you earn while playing the game by like, you know, opening chests and looting looting uh, dead enemies and stuff like that. Or you can also hack them by spending Helix credits and they give you very, very few Helix credits throughout the game. And uh, actually, I think when the full game is out, you're gonna be able to spend real money on Helix credits. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work. This is pre-launch. Maybe that'll change. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but that's certainly what it seems like. Um, there are a bunch, there are a ton of weapons in this game. And as you can see, they are very expensive. Uh, $125,000 for this, this top level one-handed weapon. And one of the interesting things about this too is that um, after you bought a weapon, like I bought this foil right here, which I found to be a very good uh, low level, relatively cheap, initially a uh, weapon to buy, you can also upgrade these weapons and get additional damage. And you, when you, you can see uh, what the modifiers are gonna be like after you upgrade any of these weapons. But uh, to upgrade a weapon, it costs a different currency than the original money that you bought or that, that you bought the weapon with initially. Uh, to upgrade a weapon, it costs uh, creed points, which are points that you earn uh, through getting stealth kills or doing impressive feats or using your equipment well, like using smoke bombs or cherry bombs to distract guards. Uh, so let's upgrade this right now, just so I can show what it's like. This is getting me a thousand extra damage, or a thousand extra damage. It cost me a thousand creed points, and that got me 25% uh, extra damage with this one-handed foil. Let's take a look at some of the other weapon types. Uh, we got the long weapons. These are quite a bit slower, uh, but quite a bit more range. Uh, let's look at the top tier ones, the ceremonial partisan. Got the heavy weapons, things like axes and pickaxes and hammers and uh, <laughs> round axes and all sorts of real heavy weapons. Uh, and also very expensive well. There's quite a few weapons that are locked by completing uh, specific side quests like the murder mysteries or uh, club competitions. The club is like a, a clan system within Unity and that's actually not quite available yet. The pistols, there are some insane looking pistols. Look at this badass five shot duck foot. Boom, 
<laughs> stare into the abyss with his five shot duck foot looking right at you. Um, yeah, upgrade damage, upgrade all that good stuff. And the rifles, long range rifles for taking out people. Uh, there are no uh, silencers or anything like that that I could find. They're all very, very loud. Or uh, blunderbuss, officer's blunderbuss. Badass. The equipment has had a huge overhaul too, but so the colors are pretty straightforward. Uh, you spend uh, creed points or have to collect a bunch of collectibles to get uh, some specific colors. Uh, orange like this, 5,000 creed points or, you know, and there are quite a few of these were already uh, unlocked for me already. Um, now, into the really interesting part of upgrading your character and customizing your character are the five different pieces of armor. The head, the chest, forearms, waist, and legs. So the head, you get these different hoods that you can upgrade. And essentially, uh, there are, there's always a trade-off for which hood you want. So it's easiest to show on the top level, uh, the top tiered hoods and the top tiered chest pieces and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, it's usually a trade-off for the hoods at least between health and stealth. Um, do you want to be super stealthy? Then you're going to go with a hood like this, the legendary Sans Coulé hood, uh, which increases your eagle your eagle vision range and duration, uh, and also gives you additional creed points earned by 10% when when it's been upgraded, which makes it easier to buy more upgrades and stuff like that, which is actually a really really interesting attribute. Um, or you can go for something like this, which gives you a health bonus of 10 extra HP, which is quite a lot, actually. So you can see this one has zero health bonus. Uh, and a lot of these have, you know, small trade-offs like that. Um, this hood here gives you additional money looted in addition uh, to additional creed points earned. And so, and some stealth and uh, some uh, health. So this is a good, the legendary Three Musketeer hood. <laughs> Look at that, it's got the badass feather on the back of it. Or the military hood, which is just 100% stealth. And that increases your assassin cash duration. Uh, the chest. Similar trade-offs, actually. Health and stealth. Um, things like time to blend, melee armor, restricted, restricted area detection time and extra health. Or uh, things like uh, blend fade time. Um, oh, there's some other good ones too. Let's see here. Ah, disguise radius and disguise duration. So disguise is uh, one of the skills that you can unlock with those uh, sync points that I was, whoops, I'll just show that off really quick. Uh, so disguise is this ability here, which I have not unlocked yet, but it temporarily disguises yourself and nearby allies as a selected target. The skill will fail if you get too close to an enemy, so it's actually a way to instantly transform. You can see in the little, uh, whoops, you can see in the little video right there, your character just transforms into one of the guards, and you can, you know, use that to just walk right past them and kind of blend in in plain sight, which is, so if, if you end up liking that ability, you might want to get that, that chest piece that gives you extra disguise time. For the forearms, uh, it's a lot of stuff about high profile noise and low profile noise. So, and uh, potentially extra phantom blades as well and berserk blades. Phantom blades is like, um, it's essentially the crossbow uh, from previous games. It's just, or throwing knives from previous games. <clears throat> they are, uh, it's a completely stealth way of killing people from range and being able to carry uh, six of, six extra ones with a top tier uh, piece of forearm armor like this is actually a huge upgrade. Uh, you, you can also get things like uh, increased revive speed of your co-op partner, uh, healing duration, extra healing, uh, reduced high profile noise for things like guns and extra health as well, and uh, reduced takedown noise if you're doing stealth kills like falling on people or uh, killing people from within a bale of hay. The waist, the belts, these are all, uh, all these upgrades are for carrying additional uh, consumable items like smoke bombs, stun grenades, poison gas, uh, cherry bombs, and ammo and stuff like that. So these don't, uh, th there are some upgrades for health, um, and but not in what, the bar on some of these will say a stealth upgrade, but that's just for additional uh, smoke bombs, basically. All of these are just 
carrying extra equipment and the legs. These are probably the least interesting of all of the upgrades. Um, reduced falling damage, falling noise, and running noise, and a little bit of a health upgrade as well. Uh, there, I couldn't find in any of these any particularly interesting modifiers on, um, on any of the legs. And finally, the full outfits. These are very, very late games. You can see here you get Altair's Master Assassin outfit by playing the Unity Companion app or uh, the uh, Bellix Master Assassin by completing Sequence 7. Uh, a lot of these are tied to Assassin's Creed Initiates, which is actually down at the moment, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, this uh, Master Assassin outfit here is for completing all the, uh, the fragments of a side quest series. And uh, this one is for completing all the single player sequences, completing the whole game. So anyway, uh, thanks for checking out this video on, oh, let's take a look at the boosts actually. This is a new feature within the game. You can buy these boosts with uh, Helix credits. The thing I was talking about before that I think you'll be able to spend real money on. Uh, things like uh, increased damage for three minutes or five minutes for the premium one, uh, increased health, or increased stealth for three or five minutes for the premium one. And uh, I haven't used these yet just because the Helix points are so uh, hard to come by. I didn't want to spend them yet. They seem like a very important currency to hold on to, and especially if they're going to start charging for Helix points. Uh, that's kind of, well, I'm going to spend the few free Helix points that I have uh, very, very wisely. I'm not just going to start throwing money around at those. So anyway. Thanks for watching this video on character customization. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to this channel, uh, be sure to subscribe for more Assassin's Creed Unity videos. I'm gonna be coming out with a whole, uh, a full game 100% sync walkthrough, which has actually been very challenging so far. Um, and uh, yeah, give the video a like on the way out. Thanks for watching and game on.